Hello, kindergartners. As we're reading, make sure you're thinking about our essential question. What might you find in a garden? The title is Garden Stories by Kevin Sanji. Illustrated by Kristen Sora. Mr. Mendez's class took a trip to the botanical garden. Botanical gardens contain many different types of plants. The plants can be outdoors or kept inside. The guide, Miss Gloria, led the class into the botanical garden. She was a botanist and knew all about the plants. As Miss Gloria welcomed the class, she smiled. I am so happy you are here today. I like to teach facts about plants. I also like to tell fables, which are stories that teach us lessons. Aesop wrote many fables a long time ago. Follow me, said Miss Gloria. She led the class to the big fir trees. Fir trees can be found in many places. Maybe you have seen one in a park. They stay green all year. They grow best in the mountains with lots of sunlight. Fir trees need lots of rain, too. Fir trees grow quickly. They make good homes for birds and other animals because they stay green all year. Let me tell you a story about a big fir tree, said Miss Gloria. Once there was a big, beautiful fir tree. Its neighbor was a prickly bramble bush. The fir tree was tall and strong. The bramble bush was brown and messy. The fir tree bragged, People love me. They use my strong wood to make houses and furniture. Bramble bush, you are useless, and no one cares about you. Just then, a man came by and cut down the beautiful fir tree. He wanted to use the wood to build his home. The bramble bush watched sadly. Oh, dear fir tree, said the bramble bush. It is better to be simple and happy than fancy and used up. Reggie raised his hand. It's not nice to brag, he said. It's not nice to call someone useless, said Maria. Miss Gloria agreed. You're both right. You understand the lesson in the fable, she said. Let's move over to the wetland area, said Miss Gloria. This is an area of land where the ground is wet and sometimes underwater. We build a pond to create our very own wetland here in the botanical garden. Look at all the tall grasses, said Miss Gloria. They are called reeds. Reeds are tall plants. They look like very tall grass. They can reach 16 feet high. Since they grow in the wetlands, they get plenty of water. I have another story for you. This one is about reeds, she exclaimed. Some reeds lived along a river. A big oak tree grew nearby. The oak tree was over 200 years old. The oak tree looked much stronger than the reeds. One day, a strong wind blew and blew. The mighty wind was so strong that it blew down the big oak tree. The oak tree spoke sadly to the reeds. You look weak, but you are still standing. I am strong, but I fell. Why? The reeds replied. We are safe because we can bend and move. It is better to bend than to break. The class grew quiet and thoughtful. Lily's hand popped up. 
I don't get it, Miss Gloria, said Lily. Aesop is saying that sometimes the biggest are not always the strongest, replied Miss Gloria. All right, class, let's look at another exhibit. How many of you have heard of olives? asked Miss Gloria. Almost everyone in the class raised their hands. Olives are fruit that grow on olive trees. Olive trees grow best in soil. They need water and a lot of sun, Miss Gloria explained. Flowers will bloom on the trees in the spring. The olives appear green in late summer, said Miss Gloria. Olive trees are evergreens, so they should not lose their leaves. Now, how about one last story? Miss Gloria smiled. There was once a beautiful green olive tree. The olive tree teased the nearby fig tree because, while the olive tree was green all the year, the fig tree's leaves changed with the seasons and fell off for the winter. One windy day, snow began to fall. The snow settled on the leaves of the olive tree and became very heavy. The branches became so heavy from the snow that they broke. The olive tree was robbed of its beauty. But because the fig tree had no leaves, the snow fell to the ground and did not harm the fig tree at all. The class was quiet again. First, Mr. Mendez asked, who could tell us the lesson in this story? Then he looked at his watch and exclaimed, We need to go! The children got back on the bus. When can we go back to the botanical garden? Thomas asked. I want to learn more about plants and hear more stories from Miss Gloria. Not for a while, said Mr. Mendez, but we can go to the library and get books about plants. And Aesop's fables, said Maria.